Hello, it's Angela. Welcome to my crafty space. So today I have a little special gift. Um, actually, it was a purchase from Roxy uh, Creations, Rachel at Roxy Creations. And it's all um, antique slash vintage slash whatever Rachel stuff. Italian wonderful goodies. So for as a present for my order, she sent me along two different things that I want to make these so bad. Now that I see them in my hand. So there's this one that comes with like a little slide off belly band. And it has a piece of fabric here. A piece of vellum. Just like different like scraps like a little scrappy booklet and it's attached with a brad which is really interesting love that and then that just slips back on like so and then this one is like a little document holder so she's just taking some jute twine through there and then it's got some documents some book page so Florentine paper, the graph paper. So yeah, and one of those. And then that just tucks underneath there like so. So I am going to make those one of these days. <clears throat> On my channel, of course, so you all can see. I was fortunate enough to get a book. She has these books for sale and they sell out fast. So I was able to get this one, and I hope you can see the color of that. It's like a turquoise. Not sure if it's showing up in the lighting or not. But it is turquoise and gold, and it's got like some red hues to it. It's really pretty. I mean, it's got some damage. It is from 18... 1858? 57. 1857. 1857. It is an Italian, so that's awesome. And it looks like it was maybe a, a, a either a, like a law book or an encyclopedia of sort, because this is NAT through RUT, number five. So I'm not sure, but I I think I'm gonna do an altered book with this. So we'll see how that works. Then I was fortunate enough to get two packs of her vintage school books. I think she still has some of these in her shop, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they were in there last time I looked. So these are so cute. All right, so let me just make sure I'm in frame. So look at the cover of this one. Just adorable, like science and imaginary and I don't know it's just really cool and then it's just like a uh, school lessons like writing your alphabet and letters and just like doing your lessons and then this one is blank it's all graph paper so how fun to collage with that vintage graph paper right and then this one's a math book. It's pretty filled up, but very cool. Love math. This one is just a cover and another like language book, like language lessons. And the cover, this one actually has two covers, which is interesting. I'm not sure if maybe one of these other books goes in there. That's really interesting, but yeah. So anyway, this one came with two covers, <laughs> and they're they're both completely off, so that's okay. But then you have the lessons again, and then we have this one, which has like the teacher yelling at the student. I mean, it's just crazy. And then this is also that cool graph paper. And then this one is another one with like, 
English lessons in it. He wrote it upside down, just so you know. And then this one is also like a ledger, just full of wonderful cursive handwriting. And then I was able to get three of these magazines. Now, funny story, Rachel texted me when she sent my order that the weight was off, that I should have had more weight to my order, that something was missing. So when I got my order, I looked to see what was missing. Well, this book was missing in my first shipment, so I waited for that to come in. And I mistakenly told her I was missing one of these magazines when she had packaged two in one cellophane. So I apologized to her. I offered to send it back. She said, no, keep it as a gift. So I was gifted one of these magazines, which these are really awesome as far as like advertisements and whatnot. And they are from 1908. So they're completely copyright free. And they have like these embroideries in them. I know you can't see the whole thing, but you kind of get the drift. And then it's got a pattern inside. And then more embroideries and then more advertisements. Can you see the advertisements over there? Yeah, really super cool. So. And then the back is a bunch of advertisements as well. So each one is like that, just with different patterns. Like this one is also 1908. Each one has like a, a thing inside of it. And then the wonderful advertisements. And then this one's from 1912. It's still copyright free. There's the pattern in this one. There the advertisements. Look at that. How cool is that? Tell me that would make a lovely stamp or something. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. I had to blow my nose. I have a cyanitis attack. I'm sneezing. I I don't know what is going on, but we must continue. So this package of fabrics is all tied together with this beautiful twine. And then I love how Rachel does this with the old book pages, how she stamps on them. And then punches a hole. She backed this one with some straw paper. And then that's her little tag on there. I just love it. Look at this trim. <laughs> yeah. So, look at this one. Fabulous is that. And then she's also got an envelope here with the letter inside. And the letter... It's not dated, but the postage is from, wow, that's hard to read. I'm not sure. I see a 20 and I see an 8, and then I see some 7s, so I have no clue. I have no clue, but it's old. I can tell you that. It's definitely vintage, if not antique, because of the way it's written, for sure. And then we have this antique document on rag paper. Wow, check this out. It's got the seals on it. This is old, for sure. This is probably 17, 1600s. Does it have a date on it anywhere? Eighteen sixty. I see a date there. Eighteen sixty. 
Wow. That document is over 200 years old. Excuse me. Um, and here's some old book page with wonderful illustrations on them. I just love how she wraps her bundles. And then we, oh, look at this gorgeous lace. Would you check that out? Look at how pretty that is. And then there's this. This is definitely antique. There's no question in my mind. <clears throat> All these are, for sure. Love the gold one. And then there's this one. Check this one out. Now it looks like hearts on this side, like hearts and diamonds, and then it's all X's on this side. How cool is that? Yeah. Very interesting. Then there's this one. This reminds me of like wallpaper. But it's fabric. So there's this embroidery. And this one. Oh, I love the green. How pretty is that? Oh, wow, look at this embroidery. It's all hand done, sure. Oh, here's another green one. The roses. This is upholstery fabric. So that's always fun to do like a cover with. And I think it's the right size. Let me see what size this is. Yeah, it's 13 inches by 11. 13 by 11. So you could do a tall journal with it. Or you could do a regular journal. And then you have this hemp fabric. Wow. Beautiful fabric sampler kit, Rachel. Okay, hold for me just one more minute. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get a drink of water and blow my nose again. But I think we're good for the rest of the video, hopefully. So this one came with this stamped piece of fabric. And it's all tied up with this fabric. Which is like a real thick cotton or linen whatever it is it's fraying oh this is pretty this little piece of antique oh these are bigger pieces okay nice these are the neutrals check out that old piece of ticking the holes in it. Cool and grungy is that. Oh, I love this mint color ticking. That's pretty. Here's a linen. This is a white linen. Oh, this is beautiful, Rachel. Yeah, this is going to make an appearance. So this is like one of those two-tone fabrics. So it looks like that on one side and like that on the other side. Can you see the difference? So it's like reverse on the other side. Really cool. And the, the last but not least is this heavy hemp piece of fabric. Very pretty. Oh man, I love this. Thank you, Rachel. 
I absolutely love my goodies so much. And last but not least is the Florentine paper set. Now, I have not seen these on her site anymore, and she did say she was not going to have them out for Christmas because she did not have the material to do it. <clears throat> so, I was very fortunate to get one of these packs from Rachel. So, it comes with a postcard, and this is Rome, somewhere in Rome, and the postcard is dated 1920, so it is 100 years old. This one is not dated. I don't see it. Oh, 1968. That one's vintage. This one is 72. So that's also vintage. This postcard was not sent. So who knows? It's probably vintage. Here's a letter. with Italian stamps on it. Cool. Yeah, there's that weird date again. 22-11-88-12. What does it all mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wish I did. Alright, so this is 1946. And right here we go. Wait, let's look at this some rag table book pages that have been eaten up by worms. How cool. <laughs> Such a raggedy thing to do. Love it. Okay, now we have all the Florentine papers. So we have this red one. Is it showing up as blue? It has like the lion on it. I guess it goes like that. Another red one. Oh, look at this blue one with the gold running through it. <clears throat> There's a lot of samples here, so I'm going to go kind of fast. Oh, this one's cool. Oh, look how bright and happy that one is. Love this one. I should probably separate some that I think would be good for Christmas ones. Like that. That, that, that. There's some bigger pieces in here too. Oh, look at the bird one. Oh, that one is interesting. It's like a scene. All kinds of things going on. Oh, I love this. I wish I could find a book like that. Hey, Rach, can you help me out? <laughs> I wonder how much a book like that with that kind of text that it would be. Oh, see, look, at there's a big old piece. It's green. Here's a couple more big old pieces. A pink one and a gold one. Lots of green. Okay, so that's all the Florentine paper. Then we've got another document from 1948. That is blank. And then she gives some straw paper, which is always appreciated. And then this is like a little magazine of a printing press. Something like that. Sewing machine, maybe? I'm not sure. It's really interesting, though. 
Oh, and then look at this. All these documents on rag paper. This is not rag paper. But that's still really cool handwriting. Another couple of pieces of straw paper in a different color. And another rag paper document. Thank you so much, Rachel. Wow, you really blessed me with a bunch of goodies. I'm so excited to use all these wonderful goodies. Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to knock you out. Thanks for watching. Um, I think that's all we've got. So, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.